Ladies and gentlemen, digital investors, welcome back to another video where we cover everything that is going on inside of the crypto space. If you guys are frequent viewers of the show, make sure you tap the like. It helps a ton for the YouTube algorithm. This video is going to be a little bit different. I don't have much news to show you guys on this one, uh, pretty much none at all, though we will go into a couple of articles. But the main thing that I want to go over on this video is the top three cryptos uh, that I am currently buying. Uh, and if if I had extra dollars where I would put them before I go any further I just want to say that obviously this is not financial advice at all uh, this is just my opinion and this is just what I'm doing I also posted this in my patreon yesterday and there is some extra content on the patreon video so all of you patrons make sure you go and check that out but I figured I would share it on my YouTube as well uh, just because of all the support you guys have been giving me I'm really appreciative of it and I don't usually make videos like this so I do hope that you guys enjoy it again these are going to be the top three cryptos that i am buying right now based on it, you know a lot of different reasons based on the previous all-time highs based on where price is now based on partnerships based on leadership uh it was very very hard to get to these but it's also a bit easy because we have some other projects that are much higher in price right so in that way it was easy to slim down but i have a lot of projects that i am a big fan of so it is a little bit tough so with that said guys let's hop into it and again this is not financial advice this is just my opinions and i urge you guys to leave a comment down below whether uh, during or after this video and let me know what three coins you would invest in because i do like reading the comments and sometimes you guys do give me some really really cool projects so the first coin we have here is hedera hashgraph or hbar and i will also say that these are in no particular order right it's not that hbar is my number one or my number three H bar is just simply uh, on my list and honestly for any of you guys who are already familiar with H bar this probably is not a surprise to you um, I don't think there was any way that I could not put H bar on this list just considering what it is that Hedera Hashgraph is and then also considering the current price of Hedera Hashgraph um, it honestly you know at four cents I thought Hedera Hashgraph was way too good to be true and at a quarter here I still think that Hedera Hashgraph is just way too good to be true our total supply is 50 billion but our circulating is 9 billion and we currently have a market cap of 2.3 billion with a 24-hour trading volume at 123 million so there is some good activity here I guess the main thing that is to be looking at is the chart and just even taking a look at this line chart here we can see that things look pretty bullish right this chart in relation to other cryptocurrency charts looks extremely bullish uh, we can see here you know it's trading for a long time around the four to five cent region and before that you know through the one to two cent region and it got as high as let's see about 36 39 cents so almost just touching 40 cents it went on a it went on its first major leg and like the rest of the market we had our pullback and now what we are kind of seeing here is some accumulation right while the rest of the market is pumping while we have cardano ada making all-time highs and a few other coins making all-time highs other coins getting close up into their into their retracement levels we are seeing h bar perform similarly and for a coin that hasn't really been through a full-on bull market before you know these coins that are new to bull markets tend to have some of the most explosive gains so if you were looking to speculate h bar to me is not only a good token as a utility hold but i think it could also be a crazy speculation hold as well uh, coming over here to the hedera hashgraph website this is their hashgraph it's also probably important to point out for any of you guys that are new to hedera hashgraph is that hashgraph is hashgraph it is not blockchain so that might take a little bit to understand um but there again there's not really much digging i need to do on hedera you can go right to the website and you can pretty much see right off the bat uh, how crazy this project is here we have hedera is owned and governed by the world's leading organizations and we have avery dennison boeing uh, google ibm lg dentons uh dolce telecom we have a lot of huge huge companies here right standard bank and also notice that it says hedera is owned and governed by these leading organizations meaning that these aren't just you know typical uh, shareholders or they believe in hedera or they spark some partnership no they are literally owned and governed uh, by these corporations and here we have a little comparison between hbar ethereum and bitcoin and it goes over the first second and hedera hashgraph would be third generation blockchain and on hedera hashgraph we have over 10,000 plus transactions per second 
whereas to ethereum is 12 plus and bitcoin 3 plus the average fee for bitcoin is 22 dollars followed by ethereum at 19 dollars and followed by hedera at fractions of a penny the trans transaction confirmation is three to five seconds which i mean if anybody has used ethereum recently do i even need to say more and the energy use per transaction is also considerably much much lower than both bitcoin and ethereum at 885 and 102 this again just like the average fees are in the fractional amounts so that is really cool now of course we could continue to deep dive into hedera hashgraph uh, but that is not really the point of this video we are going to move on to the next one if you do want deep dive on Hedera Hashgraph or any of the cryptocurrencies that we go over in this video then make sure you check out my patreon where I do have deep dives going into Hashgraph and our next coin here being Singularity Net or now known as uh, token AGIX so this used to be AGI I'm sure some of you who are watching this video now saw my older videos on AGI almost a year ago crazy to think it was that long ago uh, but you know we've had our airdrop we've had that conversion it is AGIX now and again with where Singularity Net or AGIX used to be and where it is now sitting at 30 cents along with what AI can do for the economy uh, do for a, a plethora of different things and the new SDAO airdrop which gave us that SDAO which is bringing DeFi to AI there are a lot of crazy crazy things going on for AGIX and at 30 cents it's a position again guys at two cents I thought AGIX was a great deal and at 30 cents I'd be lying if I said I haven't added to my position at the these price levels to me this is a long-term hold and again just like H bar, not only a long-term hold but I also think this is a good speculative hold as well and really if I'm being honest probably you know every single coin almost every crypto out there is a speculative hold right that's what draws us into crypto is speculating that prices can go much much higher if we take a look at the chart here we can see kind of looks similar to H bar, except it has been higher in price before uh, we have not penetrated through our old all-time highs but to me that is good right that means that we still have percentage gains that we can make just going to the old all-time high before we even start to get beyond that and get into price discovery I also feel much more comfortable buying a coin that is pulled back like AGIX has and that is still under its old all-time high uh, than I do buying something that is you know way past its old all-time high because there's usually going to be a lot more gains left in these coins right one of the worst things you can do is sell the bottoms of your coins because you either get tired of holding them or you know any reason that comes along Long and buy the tops of other coins just because there's hype and excitement right if you can flip that if you can sell your coins when they're you know giving you great gains when that coin has a lot of hype behind it if you can sell then and roll into other coins that don't have that hype yet and then wait have the ability to be patient you're probably gonna have a lot more success than if you just FOMO into tops and sell bottoms, which is what 99% of this market does. There's a lot of things going on for Singularity Net and AGIX. Uh, one of the things I wanted to go over here is this article published by Forbes, which is can the AI economy really be worth 150 trillion by 2025? And in short, and the answer is pretty much yes, but it is the ways in which AI and the AI economy is used that can make it worth this much um but you know 150 trillion might be a massive number but even just 10 trillion 15 trillion these are very easily doable numbers and with ai again it's a brand new technology that has a lot of applications that people want to use it for so i want to read this to you guys this says AI will only be able to change the world when there is an accessible user interface enabling more entrepreneurs to build AI products that can enable all people to access the full benefits of the AI economy. The core problem with AI right now is that it does not yet have an accessible and intuitive user interface that allows any individual or company to plug into the AI economy. Okay, and Singularity Net is literally that plug in vehicle. For AI to become manifest and omnipresent, it needs to be as easy to create AI products as it is to create smartphone apps. Currently, it's like we all have all of the parts to build a car right in front of us, but it's far too expensive to put those pieces together. Now, that is very, very important because one of the things that Singularity Net is doing and actually has up is their AI marketplace where you can go and you can post your AI products, you could buy other 
AI products. And literally, when I when I read this, right, it said it needs a, a, a friendly and accessible user interface, and that we need AI products, you know, almost on the same level as smartphone apps. That is literally pretty much what this is. Anybody, anyone who has gone to the Singularity Net Marketplace realize, yeah, it is kind of like, you know, people posting their apps or posting their products. So we, we are literally kind of having that already, right? That is already in motion. So that's one of the things that needs to happen again for there's this to be a 150 trillion economy by 2025 one of the other things that they say is this down here if ai becomes omnipresent across healthcare biotech hospitality retail and thousands of other industries it could hugely improve everything about human life but people first need to be fully woken up to the vast possibilities for for quote alternate intelligence to significantly improve their lives okay so the 150 trillion ai economy by 2025 can get there if it's going across multiple industries in this case they talk healthcare biotech hospitality retail yada yada well i already told you guys that they are building the marketplace right so we kind of have that retail that smartphone app type deal well let's check out the singularity net ecosystem right here off the singularity net website right we have sdao we also have rejuve for those of you who don't know what rejuve is this is going to implement into the healthcare ecosystem new net for a decentralized world computer there's also three other projects here the singularity studio decentralized ai alliance and true agi so singularity net is truly building out an ecosystem here an ecosystem that you can invest into own and be a part of and so if it's going to be going across all these different industries, right? Just like our labeled here, basically goes that, hey, yeah, if, if we're really bringing AI into all these different industries, we can probably reach 150 trillion. And again, even if it doesn't hit 150 trillion, even just 10 trillion, 15 trillion, for me personally, that is something that I would be happy with. And this ecosystem so far has been rewarding holders of AGIX, right? All AGIX holders have received the SDAO airdrop. And I've also heard rumors, these are just rumors, that there could possibly be a new net airdrop as well. You guys know I'm keeping you up to date for anything I see on Nunet or Rejuve inside of the Patreon. And we also have a deep dives going over this entire ecosystem. We are currently on part two, but we have deep dived SDAO and Rejuve. We have deep dive Singular Net Studio and Nunet. And the next deep dive, which will be out soon, will be on Dia and True AGI. So if you're interested in this type of stuff and you want to learn more, then check out the Patreon. It is the first link in the description. And in my Patreon, I do put a focus on projects like this uh, that I think do have the potential to do very well and are, for me, utility tokens. That's what I'm mainly here to invest into, not really Dogecoin. Um, I am definitely a utility token fan. Not that there's anything wrong with Dogecoin or you can't make money with Dogecoin. It's just not where I want to park my money long term, right? And again, that's just me. You might have something different. Now, within in this ecosystem right brings us to my third coin that i am bullish on that i think we could see great potential in which is part of the singularity net ecosystem here we have the singularity dow now i think this is definitely probably the most risky play of out of these three coins i think if you wanted you know the most amount of risk i think s is probably it and pro most of you guys probably don't want that risk um so so that's why i'm just telling you i think that s is the most risky why because it's a new coin launched during a bull market okay and that is probably where a lot of people get wrecked right you don't really want to be bag holding um if you're you know if a coin launches in the middle of a bull market it could you know start off and then it, it you know it does a massive price increase you make gains but you don't necessarily want to be bag holding it because if these coins also have never been through a bear market they could give up a lot of gains okay that's the thing with these uh these coins that have never been through bull or bear markets before they, you know they'll do extremely well in bull markets they will also sell off like crazy in bear markets because because the, the market itself doesn't really know what to do they don't know the true value so these coins need to simmer down and then they will find their true value but as of right now singularity dow is at a dollar 70. um you know i think that the cheapest i saw it at when it first started coming online and trading was like you know i think it got down to around 40 cents we could probably actually check that right here on the chart and yeah here we have when it first started coming out was between about 60 uh, 52 cents so you know around that 50 cent to 60 cent region and as you can see it's a pretty new coin but it looks like we are getting that accumulation right and as of right now you know kind of looks like this rounding bottom area so that was another thing i took into account right it, it, are these coins that i'm picking coins that are you know 
viable buying opportunities. In my opinion, AGIX, yes, definitely sure it's had its first leg up, but we, you know, you're not buying up here. You're not buying in the hype. Same thing with Hedera Hashgraph. You're not buying in the hype. Again, SDAO, it's a lot more risky because you know, while I don't think you're buying in the hype, you know, what's it really going to do from here? This is a new coin. In my opinion, I think it's most likely going to go up, but you know, th there's always that risk side, but you are not buying, you know, here when it was hypey, you're not buying on a leg up, but it's definitely better in my opinion to be buying on these rounded bottom type areas, these accumulation type areas, rather than buying while we're just straight lining up and there's a lot of hype. Okay. Buying hype is where people are usually going to get racked. So Singularity Doubt is my third pick. And here we have the Singularity Doubt beta portal, which opened up. And there's a lot of things that you can do here. So this goes over how it works. Obviously, you have to connect your wallet. Uh, if you participated in the airdrop and you did register and stake, you should already have coins and bonded staking. Uh, but yeah, you pretty much connect your wallet. You become a liquidity provider and then earn SDAO with yield farming. Uh, you can also swap right in here. You can swap your uh, Ethereum for SDAO. You can provide liquidity, including pairs like AGIX against Tether, uh, AGIX against, against Ethereum. You could also use your SDAO to provide liquidity. You can use those uh, liquidity providing tokens to yield farm and yield farming will earn you more SDAO and then you could plug that SDAO into staking either unbonded or bonded staking. So that's basically what they also outline here, which is get your SDAO, earn trading fees and LP tokens by providing that liquidity, maximize your earnings with yield farming. So you lock up those liquidity providing tokens, earn some SDAO, and then you could throw that SDAO, you know, you could either sell it or you could throw it right back into staking. Uh, staking unbonded, you could pull out to any time and you can go in at any time, but the rewards are not as much as bonded staking. And that's because in bonded staking, you can't pull out and pull in at any time. Uh, there is a 60 day lockup period period and it continues to roll over every 60 days you'll have a chance to withdraw and then it locks up but because of you locking up for 60 days uh, your rewards are a lot larger than the unbonded as we can see here the rewards percentage apy for bonded staking is 46 percent apy and i know unbonded right now at the time of recording is about 28 29 percent so you're getting consider a considerable amount more to do bonded staking but you're doing that at the cost of locking up your tokens um my airdrop which you guys can see my stake here i decided to just stake it um i am in this for the long term especially at a 46 percent apy and that is also what kind of pushed me over to put SDAO in this top three is just the fact that the staking portal is live and we can sit here, throw it into bonded staking at 46% or throw it into unbonded staking at about 28, 29%. Whether these stay at those levels, I really don't know, guys. I haven't seen anything on that, uh, but I am definitely taking advantage of the opportunity that has presented itself to me. So with that said, guys, those are my top three coins. It's gonna have to be for me, HBAR, AGIX, and SDAO. I could have made this top five, could have made it top 10, but for this one, it's gonna be those top three. There's definitely a lot of other coins out there that are great projects, that have good prices, still have some good buy-ins, uh, but that's gonna be the top three for me. Again, guys, if you like the video, make sure you do tap the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I put out a video. Also remember guys, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. And these are just some coins that I wanted to share from you. Please do not go out and buy these coins just because I showed you them. Just use it as you know a, a page in your book uh, or a marker to start off. You know, Do your own research is what I'm trying to say. With that said guys, I'll see you on the next one and I hope you all have a great day.